And now, a compact, folding, electronically controlled, motor-driven, single-lens reflex camera capable of focusing from infinity down to 10 inches has been developed to exploit integral self-processing film units, which when exposed are automatically ejected from the camera with no parts to peel or discard, and whose final images emerge without timing in daylight where the viewer can see them materialize within the same transparent, protective plastic cover through which the film was originally exposed. Hold your left hand out. Place the camera across the palm. Grasp the rear of the viewfinder cap. Pull the camera into its erect position. To load, press and the door opens. Take the 10 picture film pack and push it all the way in. Close the door and automatically the cover sheet will be ejected from the camera. Now rest the camera against your chin. Bring your eye to the viewing lens. Place your thumb on the back of the lens board and your finger on the focusing wheel. Rolling left or right, to bring the scene into sharp focus from infinity down to 10 inches. When the correct moment comes, press the red electric shutter button, holding the camera steady until the film is out. The 10 bulb flash unit, five on each face, is installed by inserting the prong of the unit firmly into the opening above the lens. Select, focus, shoot. During the one and a half seconds after the shutter button has been pushed, and even during viewing, another story is going on inside the camera. This optical path from subject to eye is unique to this single lens reflex system. All elements are articulated to fold into a compact unit that folds flat. The four element lens collects the light, which bounces off of a permanent mirror to a fine Fresnel surface. It bundles the light and reflects it back again to the same mirror. The light leaves the interior of the camera through two astigmatism correcting slits bouncing off of an aspheric plastic mirror which focuses the image in space. It is this image that is seen through the eyepiece which is itself aspheric. When the picture is taken, the Fresnel moves elevating the taking mirror so that the image that had fallen onto the retina of the photographer's eye is reflected onto the film. <laughs>